Hey, Cameron here with C Butters Tech. And if you follow the channel, you know we cover VR pretty extensively uh, when I can, when I have uh, some interesting things in. And one of the common themes that I've experienced over the last four years is that the Valve Index is proving to be a very hard headset to beat in terms of comfort. Um, and audio fidelity. And I finally took things into my own hands. And that's why I want to present this. The, my version of the Valve Index 2. And of course, the obvious consideration right now is, hey, that's a Quest 3. But that's the thing. The Quest 3 is the first headset. Well, not the first, but it's the first that I found that that is worth an upgrade from the valve index for the pancake lenses and the bump in resolution. But when moving to the quest three, there is the feeling of, uh, the comfort's not quite as good. And the off ear audio is not as good as the valve index. And so my goal has been to solve that. And that's with this. And as if you're looking at it, you're, you're seeing, Hey, that looks like a valve index. From the rear, it's pretty much a valve index. Um, from the side, the off-ear audio, um, but the only difference being the Quest 3 in the center there. So how did I do this? Why did I do this? Well, I kind of explained why, but uh, I took everything I liked about all the different headsets out there, like the Quest Pro, I actually like how you can see underneath. I like the open eye design. I put a few models up on uh, different 3D printing websites so people could use those models. And so this is, is very much like that. It leaves the bottom open more than other headsets, although not as much as the Quest Pro in general. I like just being able to see my body, not like the entire world, and I don't like when the top is open. Quest themselves have done a design like this now where they have the open Quest 3, but I actually don't like it because you know, when light comes in through the top, I find that it creates a lot of glare. When you leave the bottom open, you don't really get too much glare, but yet you're still aware of your surroundings because when you're playing VR, you kind of want to see where you're walking, not necessarily the ceiling, like who cares, right? <clears throat> At least that's my take. But I made my own version of the Valve Index 2 and I'm going to show you how I did it. And I'm going to provide all the 3D print files so you can do this yourself. Now, if you're looking close, another thing you may think is, whoa, whoa, look at this cushion, you know. This is real valve index cushioning, um, a real valve index back head strap, real valve index speakers, and it's all been adapted through the use of 3D printed adapters and some other people's really cool projects that exist uh, in order to make this happen. And I'll just demo it for you for a second here. And uh, it, it fits really well. Um, you get that index off your audio. It sounds amazing. Uh, anyone who's used the Valve Index knows how good its audio is and how comfortable it is to have those off your headphones. So, I mean, the Quest 3 also has actually very decent audio for, for what it is. But um, if you're used to that Val this Valve Index form factor, this really gets you what you want. Uh, for me, it was the cushioning, off your audio, all the things that I've been saying. But anyways, uh, let me go through how you can do this on your own and uh, check the description for all the links to anything you might need. Okay, so let's talk about all the things that need to come together, <laughs> the challenges that we have adapting uh, the Valve Index into the Quest 3. Uh, the first one is uh, we have to get the head strap to actually fit on the Quest 3. Um, the second one is we need a facial gasket interface that works with the Quest 3 and uh, to harvest the Valve Index face pad, which I'll show you how I did that and then the third thing is how do we actually get audio wired up to the quest 3 in a way that actually makes sense uh, so those are the three things we have to overcome the adapter for the head strapped uh, the adapter for the facial gasket and getting audio to the speakers 
So let's talk first about how I got the head strap onto the Quest 3. And uh, how I did this was uh, 3D printing, of course. And so let's take a look at my design. And there's, there's a couple things that you have to do. Um, you need these adapters uh, that are on either side, one to adapt the USB-C side and one to adapt the, the 3.5 inch jack, even though we're not using it. But then you need these holes in order to uh, give you a gap to get the wires through because you need them to go out of the cover and into the valve index's head strap. There's some tiny little points on it. And let me see if I can show you what that looks like a little better. Okay, so um, if we look right here, uh, there is, if I can get underneath there. Okay, so you can see that uh, those 3D printed adapters work really well uh, to get onto the Quest, but then you need to be able to use uh, this little piece right here and that goes inside and gets glued on the tab that's on let me see if I can shift that around it's kind of kind of hard to to wrap your head around what's actually going on here but basically this little adapter right here has to flip around and be glued onto the back of these right here so that the wires can pass through. And I will show you some images of, of what that looks like. Let's go ahead and pull those up. Okay, so here are the adapters. Uh, you can see the, the little piece glued on them and you can see the methodology for getting those wires to pass through because you have a little pass through on the wires from the side and then in because this will be inserted into the inside edge of the valve index strap. So you need to print both the left and right side and then both of those two little gasket pieces. And then you'll need this 2.5 millimeter, I think a four pole, I believe. In fact, uh, yeah, 2.5 millimeter TRSS. And this is the wiring diagram for you in case you <laughs> need that. I'm sure you will. But yeah, that, that gets you the output that you need um, because you have to, ooh, we're skipping ahead. Yeah, so let's go back to the adapter. <clears throat> yeah, so the adapter is set up so that you can get this three and a half inch hole and then the wires come down, they're able to go uh, through the front of this little adapter through a little tiny gap that's in the design and then get soldered into the valve index strap. There's two copper points on each side. So on the left hand side, which is this one, uh, you basically have a screw, an original screw from the valve index that you will tap into the adapter and that will connect it on this side. So one screw on the left side and then on the right side, there's two screws that you'll tap into to screw in to the uh, headset strap. So two screws on the right, one screw on the left. On the left, it attaches from the inside and on the right, it attaches from the outside. So that's important to know. Uh, so you can see that that's how that works. So now, You've got that valve index on the back of your Quest 3, and that works. And you've got the wires wired up um, as well. Let's talk about the gasket for a second. Okay, so right here, what you're seeing is the original valve index uh, gasket, which you can buy those separately. I think it's like two for 20 or, or something along those lines. You can get used ones. Um, also from Tundra Labs, they, they sell refurbished ones or new ones. So maybe I'm not sure which, but, but anyways, if you heat up 
the glue that's on the back of this, there's actually two pieces to the valve index adapter. And you can see that you can, if you heat up that glue, you can kind of pry the facial cushion off and it still has its own little plastic cover. And so then the problem there becomes, uh, <laughs> like how do you get that on a Quest 3? Okay, so, so I took it upon myself uh, to take this model of the valve index adapter, which you can see right here. Uh, this one's the valve index. And this one over here is a adapted Quest 3 model that I'd already made. Um, but what you can see is that the geometry doesn't quite line up. Um, this is like a take on trying to do that myself. Um, and that did not quite work. So what I ended up doing is opening it up in Blender and getting the shape to match much more closely. Um, it's sunken a little bit, but... Uh, but yeah, so this was my attempt in Blender to get a facial gasket that had the front end of a Quest 3, but, the, but able to glue the gasket from the valve index that I'd harvested uh, by trimming it a little bit. And you can see how I've done that. Now, I'm not, this is not my best work. Let me pull this off. Um, in fact, I, I need to do a, another revision of this, but for the purposes of the video, um, I, I do have it ready. And this is very comfortable. This does work just fine. And the file I'll provide works just fine. And you can see that you just have to trim the gasket of the index and, and re-glue it to that 3D print file that matches the curvature of an index, which is actually a little bit narrow, um, and then adapt it into Quest 3 format on the front end. And that's what I did here. And you can see that it's, you know, after you glue it on there, re-glue it, it works pretty well. And it's very comfortable. I don't know what type of material, well, I do know what type of material, you can see it right there. Um, in the cut, they use basically cloth over a spongy foam, um, and it ends up being a really nice feeling, way more comfortable than most things I've seen. Pop it right in, and you've got your valve index facial gasket. So we've got our adapters to get the head strap on. We've got our gasket harvested and 3D printed adapted onto here. And the last thing we have to do is get the audio working. So I talked a little bit about how to wire that up, but let's let's look at a few other, other things here. So there's a couple more shots of the gasket. Um, just for fun, this is what I was using before. This is kind of a FrankenQuest 3D adapter. And this does have off-ear headphones. This is actually a really cool design, although a little bit clunky. Um, but anyways, that was my first stab at something like this. Um, but the valve index makes it a lot lighter, a lot more svelte. So anyways, uh, just another shot of how good this valve index conversion can look. So it's, it's pretty sweet. I like it a lot. looks really good. And you can see that you know, it's, it's just like the valve index. You just flip up those earphones, they work just fine. But how do we get those ear, off-ear headphones working? Let's take a look. Um, we talked about the pinout. So if you wire that up, uh, how I've shown here with the, with the green and black goes on the left side and the red and white on the other side, um, you get that wiring straight there. Um, and this brings me to a really cool project. And that is, I've, I've spoken to this, this uh, person directly, SC10F's Pico Amp. And basically what this lets you do is gives you <laughs> an amp to wire directly into the off-air audio that's been programmed to handle that valve index off-air audio. And this is just a shot of the wiring diagram. So you know how to, to get this done. 
And basically, they've just created this tiny little uh, amp, and it ends up sounding amazing uh, and works perfectly with, it's been programmed to work perfectly with the Valve Index headphones. So all you need to do is plug that into your Quest, and you're good. And I'll show you what that looks like close up in a second. But yeah, I just wired it on there and used some heat shrink and got this little adapter. And I'll show you what that looks like live. So here's the three and a half inch receiver. And then you can see we've got our socket. And that socket has been wired into the Pico amp. Plug that back in. So that wire then comes down and the Pico amp's actually inside the cable here. You can see that. And then this right here is just a splitter so I can charge at the same time. And you can, you can charge at the same time you're playing, um, at the same time you're using the off-ear audio. And you may wonder, does the Quest 3 handle that very well? And it does, like you can just, you can unplug, replug this adapter at any time, even in the middle of a game, and it still works. It just switches back to the Quest 3, and then when you plug it in, it goes back to the off-ear audio. So it works really, really well. I thought I'd have some issues with that or you know, have to work through, through some things, but I don't. I, you don't have to worry about it at all. The one thing that I did notice is with the Pico Amp plugged in, your Quest 3 will slowly drain its battery if you just let it sit there. It doesn't seem like it wants to turn off when that Pico amp is plugged in. So the quick fix is if you're done playing and you still have charge on your device, just pull this out or pull the Pico amp off and then it will go to sleep like it normally should. So not a big deal there. Um, but yeah. This is my take on the Valve Index 2 clickbait title, um, but it really is everything I would want in a Valve Index 2, um, other than lighthouse tracking, right? Uh, but the controllers, as long as the controllers are lighthouse tracked, uh, and I have another video that tells you how to combine lighthouse tracking with Quest tracking, and that's what I do on this, is you know it gives you wireless, it gives you pancake lenses, it gives you the comfort of the Valve Index, the off-ear audio of the Valve Index. This is the best combination that I've been able to find ever in a VR headset, and I'm really happy with it. So anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, comments, go ahead and leave it in the description below. Okay, so as I'm editing this video, I'm realizing that uh, probably a lot of people who want to put this together maybe don't have 3D printers. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm providing all of the files for anyone to 3D print this themselves. Um, but if you do want to buy a kit with all of the 3D printed parts in the parts list to do this mod, I'm going to be offering it for sale on my website and I'll put a link to that in the description so you can go pick up a 3D printed part set. Um, and I think that will actually help a lot of you who either don't have a 3D printer or don't you know, have the ability to print in you know, some of the, the higher uh, quality materials that you would want for a mod like this. So. I'm going to be offering that, so take a look. It will be in the description where you can go purchase the 3D printed parts, but if not, just go print them yourself. So anyways, that's an option for you if you need. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.